morning in our Saturday session, Grammy-nominated performer Ryan Adams. His self-titled record is up for a Best Rock album, and his song, Gimme Something Good, is up for Best Rock Song. Adams will perform that for us in a moment, but first I spoke with him recently about his career and the inspiration for his new album. I just needed to express myself so badly that I got the guitar and I just right away started making music. Ryan Adams hasn't stopped writing songs since he traded a skateboard for a guitar when he was 15 years old in North Carolina. Were you always this intense about music? Yes. Yes. Yeah, right away. Right away. First it was uh, poetry and Reader's Digest and like old television but then music, definitely, yeah. yeah. You're totally self-taught. Yeah, absolutely. When the guys in my band who are, they're beyond, you know, musicologists and musicians and they understand all the terminology and all that stuff, I don't understand any of it. So when I listen to them talk, I feel like I'm like the guy in the room that doesn't know French <laughs> and they're having a deep conversation. Like it's pretty, pretty interesting. But if they start playing and I can maybe find my way in there. Most musicians can't keep up with Adams, who's released an unrivaled 17 albums in the last 19 years. His catalog includes the band Whiskey Town, his work with the Cardinals, and his solo career. You've had some incredibly prolific periods. Mm. Did that all just, does it all just come out? Yeah, I'm in a, a, another one. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've forgotten what they're like because when it's quiet, it's... It's real quiet? It's interesting, yeah. They're songs, but they're just, mm -hmm. they, they wash up on shore and you pull them in and you clean them off. And, uh, <laughs> and, then, and then this, but then sometimes it's like thunderstorming on the sea and, and they're everywhere and that's like how it is now. It's, that's, gotta, just, that's gotta feel pretty good. Yeah, it's cool. It feels like my soul is full and it's overflowing and I'm taking just dictation from is what, I, what I can get from it. In one of your relatively quiet periods, you had a hearing problem? Oh, I still do, yeah. You still do? Yeah, I have Meniere's disease, uh -huh. which is an interesting thing to have and be me. <laughs> <laughs> the disease affects the inner ear, causing vertigo-like symptoms. The episodes nearly destroyed Adam's career. How do you cope with that as a musician? On stage, for many years for me, it was a battleground of fear. And it would turn out that it was simply because I was being lit from the front. Yeah. And after a while, those lights, especially if they flashed or moved, and I didn't know that it was anything other than I'm just now feeling weird. Yeah. And what's weird is, is I was doing that in front of thousands of people. Yeah. And I was really losing my mind. Hey, you my rap getting ball, won't you come and maybe... Adams fixed the lights, adjusted his lifestyle, and is back making music. I just am riding this wave of feeling inspired, and there's, there's not a better place to be. It's just one of those times where I can walk down the street and I can hear two seconds of a conversation and between two strangers, and even just the act of me listening to it makes me want to get the pen out and the pocket notebook and go to work, you know, and that's my, that's my sweet spot.